And there's a lot of accusation of the county uh, by some folks in the city of Fresno that says, hey, why did you guys not go public? The, and honestly, the, should the, does the public need... The, one of the questions uh, between Gary and um, Nathan last week was, if there's a lab close to your home within 500 feet, would you let your son go bicycle riding? Or would you want to know about the fact that there's a lab doing AIDS testing, chlamydia testing, COVID-19? Now, the one in Fresno was also doing these things during the pandemic, during the height of the pandemic. But wouldn't you want the public to know? How do we answer that? I mean, that's a good question that Gary has, has asked. Why would you want to not let the public know that these things are happening? Is, is the answer, I think, Mike and Nicole, you guys were talking about, because of F, is it because of the FBI and the feds doing an investigation and they don't want that foil? Or why, and why would we not want to let the public know there's a, hey, there's a lab with 800 mice. They're doing all these testing. All these viruses are going on there. Why would we not want to let the public know? And that's a question for, let's start with Nicole, and then we're gonna, I'm going to go to Erica. Okay, so I think I mentioned to you one of the reasons, and there's several reasons. One of the reasons is it's an active investigation. We don't want evidence to be destroyed. We want communication to keep on going. So that's a really critical point. And I, uh, I would ask, I think the public understands that. I think the rational people in the public say, hey, wait a minute, she's right. There's an active investigation. They want to be able to catch the bad guys. And we still don't truly know everything that's that the linkages, right? Um, and so I would ask somebody, if you found out two months ago, how would your life change from today? The, knowing that the city knew from almost the get-go that the public was safe. Now, things would have been very, very, very different had we any indication that the public was not safe. But because they were, we wanted to, to really preserve the integrity of that investigation, amongst other things. So, and the, and the main point for Reedley, because Reedley's got a little bit of a target on its back, given that press conference last Monday, which to me, very unfair. But nonetheless, uh, you know, for Reedley, a little city like us, we're going to defy the FBI? No. They told us not to go to the public. We're not going to the public. 